What's going on everyone? Today we're going to take a look at my coastal off-road bumper for the 5th gen Ram 2500s. Oh man, the lighting's wrong for full flex. So, when you have a truck like the Moose, sometimes you got to clear some trails. So this little Milwaukee... So starting off, uh, this bumper is probably the only true high clearance bumper on the market. And what I mean by that is some of the other high clearance bumpers you will see, they still retain the factory toe um, hitch. And that is this is huge bar that kind of comes down and then that's where your hitch is on the factory. Well, this one you have to completely remove it. And the new tow hitch is actually behind my license plate. Now they do offer another place to mount your license plate to the um, fuel carrier here if you so choose, but I like kind of having it down there. So starting off, the Coastal Off-Road rear bumper is kind of a DIY rear bumper. And what I mean by that is they ship it to you in pieces and it's all raw steel. So as you guys know, my buddy over at New Holland Overland, Jeremy, is fantastic with building overland things for example this topper you see here so when i contacted him about welding this up for me he was happy to do so now with this bumper there are a bunch well i want to say kind of a bunch of different options you can do with it um, and this has pretty much all the options you can see here um, so starting off you can get just the base high clearance rear bumper and nothing else and they're actually priced very very well um, now of course I did um, get this welded by Jeremy and you know I'm not gonna make him do things for free so I actually gave him a couple bucks for him to help me out with that um, and then from there you can add either just the tire or you can add the dual swing out option like you see here which is the tire carrier and the fuel can and one thing that i love about this bumper that i've actually used a couple times already are these kickouts you can see here on the side i'll kind of walk you guys around this rear bumper and show you some of the cool things so like i mentioned before you can get just the normal bumper without any of the options and it is a very very high clearance bumper it does also offer a lot of really nice protection underneath the truck. Now you do have some little tow hooks here on either side, which is really nice. And I have used these just to pull out some stuff. It's not, I haven't needed to get recovered from the rear quite yet, but I'm sure that time is coming. Um, and then what I did have here is they cut out some flush mount S2 um, holes for me to mount those as my reverse lights. Or this is just a really cool option. So another thing that you can get is you can get the base bumper with only the tire carrier. So if you don't have, or if you don't have these kind of fuel cans or don't need them or have Rotopex, whatever, uh, you can get just the tire carrier. And one thing I do wanna say that this is originally rated for a 37 inch tire. And if you guys have been following this build, you know that I run 40s and this thing has been, beaten up and down in all kinds of different directions and it has held up very well so i think it is rated for a 40. and then of course over here you do have the dual jerry cans nato cans whatever you want to call them um, set up which i personally like over roto packs because with just this here it gives me 10 extra gallons of diesel which is pretty much about a quarter tank for me right now and another thing that i've used a couple times already are these awesome bed hoops bed kickouts, whatever you want to call them. Um, 
they they are so sweet i've never seen a bumper um, for these trucks with these so this is a really nice option to have and the cool thing is is you can mount these kind of in different positions um, i kind of wanted a decent amount of kick out because if you can kind of see up front there the kick out on my front bumper has a decent kick out so this does work really really well Another cool option, because this wheel and tire combo does weigh 125 pounds, um, they did include this little extra safety latch here. Now you can drop the tailgate down with this with no issues. Um, we did kind of end up mounting mine a little bit high, so you can see there's some slack in here. And then it does kind of move a little bit. Nothing too bad. I mean, I still haven't gotten that dent in my tailgate fix, so... You can see down here, I got a couple little rub spots, but no big deal. They do kind of cant the tire at a nice angle so that it doesn't interfere with my topper or any kind of stuff like that. And then I did end up painting this with some Rust-Oleum Professional Grade Enamel Paint. It has been held holding up pretty well. However, due to all the fun salt and Michigan, you can see I'm starting to get some rust spots here. No biggie. Um, I do kind of plan when the snow is gone in the springtime to kind of take everything off, clean it up and uh, repaint it. But I highly recommend this bumper. But that'll kind of wrap this little video up, guys. As always, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment if you have any questions down below. I know this is kind of a shorter video, there's not a whole lot to it, but I did want to put something out there for all of you guys who kind of wanted an actual high clearance bumper for your fifth gen rams 2500s now they do make this for a fourth gen and um, they have a i guess series of it we'll call it for the ram 1500s i don't think anything for the fifth gen ram 1500s but definitely the fourth gen so be sure to check out coastal off-road and as always guys we'll catch you in the next one